one of the daily tasks you guys are going to have to take care of when you're in here is scouting for just really basic things, uh, really important things such as uh, nutrient deficiencies in your plants, as well as for the presence of, of bugs that are on the plants. In terms of nutrient deficiencies, all you need to really worry about is if you're seeing anything like yellowing leaves, maybe brown edges along the outside of the leaves, maybe you've got some, some leaves that are completely falling off at the bottom, um, things like that. If you see anything like that, all you need to do is take a photo of it, make sure a grocer sees it. You can also send it to Green Planet Energy Analytics and we'll figure out the problem. In terms of bugs, again, same thing. If you see any bugs, take a photo of it, send it off to, to either Green Planet or, or Grocer. Typically, the bugs that you're going to encounter will be on the underside of leaves or maybe along the stems. Generally, they're not going to be really flying around. The, the system itself, so it's really important for you to, to look at the plants themselves closely. You don't have to look at all of them, obviously, but just, you know, as you're, as you're walking through the system, keep an eye on things. Bugs will also cause uh, leaves to, to yellow and to become deformed, so that's, that can be an indication to you that there, there might be bugs. So we're going to talk about fungus gnats, and the reason we're going to talk about this particular bug separately is because it's unique in the sense that it doesn't really cause too many problems for the health of your plants, um, but they can be a real annoyance, and they're the most likely bug that you'll encounter in the system. Um, fungus gnats look like really tiny black flies. They, they tend to fly around quite a bit. They're really attracted to surfaces that are consistently moist, so the tops of your grow cubes would be a perfect example of that. Grow cubes, when they're moist and uh, constantly exposed to light, will also grow algae, which is a food source for fungus gnats. So just be aware, you're gonna see a lot of like black flies throughout the system periodically. Um, it's just a reality for, for indoor farmers around the world. What we're gonna do to control them is we're gonna hang what are called yellow sticky traps, uh, fungus gnats will just naturally be drawn to this bright color, they'll, they'll stick to these traps and we can control the populations that way. 